Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the directory feature to your app. Log in your account and go to your business dashboard. Next, click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Next, under the edit test and go live section, click on edit. Now to add the directory feature, click on the add feature button in the sidebar. Then click view all and search directory. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you add it to feature, you will see the feature listed in my feature section where you can edit, customize, and organize the added features the way you want. Now hover over the future and you will have options to show hide the future, edit and customize the future, delete the future, and move the future. Now let's check out what all you can do with the newly added directory feature. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the future. This is your future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon image. Let's move to the content section now. Click on the add listing button and you'll be redirected to your directory dashboard. From the dashboard, you can add and manage categories, subcategories, and direct directory listings. Now here you will see that a default category has already been added which you can edit as per your needs. For now, let's add a new category. Click on the Add Category button here and provide the necessary details in the screen that follows. Once done, click on Create Category and here you will see your added category. Now hover over the region here and click on the three dot icon to perform different actions, such as editing the category, making the category active inactive, adding subcategories under the category, adding listings under the category, and deleting the category. If you want, you can add subcategories under this category by clicking the number count here or from the action options. Similar to the way we added categories, you can add subcategories too. Once done, you will see your added subcategories in this section. Now let's add a listings. Click on the listings link here and then click on the add listing button to add a new listing. Under the heading for your listing here, and a summary and full description of your listing in the respective fields. Once you provide it the required details, click on save to add the listing. Now here you will see your added directory listing and its details. Now let's move ahead and go to the general settings section, which is further categorized into configuration settings, language settings, coupons, loyalty card, and manage attributes and filter sections. First is configuration settings, which lets you manage directory feature settings. From here, you can change the admin email if you want. You can also integrate live chat globally to all the listings by authenticating your live chat account from here. Further, in the configuration settings section, you will see basic future settings, other settings, location-based settings, and then user settings. Through these sections, you can control and configure directory future settings. Once you're done configuring the settings, click on save to continue. Now coming to language settings. From this section, you can manage all text alerts and messages showing up in the directory feature. Next up is Coupon. From this section, you can add coupons to the directory listings. Click on the Add New Coupon button here and provide the necessary information to add a new coupon. Once you are done adding details, click on Save. Please note, your added coupon will be displayed when you add or edit the directory listing details. Now here you will see your added coupon and its details. Now let's check out loyalty card. In the loyalty card section, you will see two tabs, Man manage loyalty card and language settings. Under the manage loyalty card tab, you can add loyalty cards to the directory listings. Click on the add loyalty card button to provide the required details and click on save to add a loyalty card. Once done, you will see your added loyalty card and its details on this screen. Click the language settings tab here to change all the text alerts and messages showing up in the loyalty card. Once you are done updating the language settings, click on Save. Next, click on Manage Attributes and Filters in the Sign menu. They click, then click on Create New button to add a new attribute. Enter attribute name and value in the respected field. Once you're done adding the details, click on Save. Here you will see your added attribute and its details, including name, category, filterable status, and status. Let's move on to the Import e Export section. From this section, you can import and export listings. With the import option, you can add multiple listings in a single go by uploading a CSV file. Also, you can directly export their created listings in CSV or Excel format. 
The last section is claim requests. Here you will see all the li listings requests that have been claimed by the user. You can accept, reject, and delete the claim request from this section. Let's now go back and check out the, ad the advanced settings for the directory feature. Click this icon here to configure advanced settings and subscription payment methods. Enable or disable the toggle as per your needs to configure the advanced settings and the subscription payment method. Now let's change the layout and color scheme of the directory feature. Click on this color palette icon to change the feature style and color scheme. Select your desired layout from the options and configure the layout settings. Next, select the color and font sizes and also choose to show or hide the borders. Now let's enable in-app purchase for this feature. Click the in-app settings icon in the sign menu, then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials and the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, you can click on the question mark icon here and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note you can also add new credentials if you want. Once you're done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.